I can't make the little murfing sound every time you pet her. You're probably going to be able to hear this little kitty meowing throughout this video, so sorry. Sorry for the boob shot, too. Good morning, and welcome to a new vlog. Today is Saturday, March 14th, and I'm actually working on editing the old vlog today because it's going up tomorrow. So I hadn't intended to vlog anything today, or for a few days for that matter, but today is Pi Day. It's 314. So tonight I'm going to be doing something called Pie and Prejudice, where you watch Pride and Prejudice, eat pie for Pi Day, and drink copious amounts of wine. And all of those things sound like an excellent idea. So not much to show you throughout the day, but I just wanted to pop on and greet you guys this morning with good morning and welcome to a new vlog. Hey, kitty. It's walk time, so here comes the nugget. What do you think? Marley, are you on the screen? All right, it's almost eight o'clock, and I haven't eaten dinner. But I don't think I'm going to bother with it, because pie and prejudice. It's time. This is what happens when you want your pie a la mode, but have no vanilla ice cream. It is Monday the 16th and it is gorgeous out. And this time I actually mean it not just if you're from a northern climate. I mean, some, some of you will still find it cold. It's in the high 50s, which is so good for Michigan in March and potentially almost 70 today, which is insane. So very, very happy. And this is my first outdoor work day of this year, which makes me very happy. I love nothing more than to come sit outside in warm weather and work on blog stuff, read, do whatever needs doing, but in the air, in the sun. I love it. Michigan and March is all of the mud from the melted snow, but we're dealing with it. Marley's outside playing, the cat's outside rolling in it on occasion. And I'm sitting on the porch with my little bag full of my work stuff, my computer, my notebooks, my current read, and just enjoying the day. Get these two lazy bones in the mud. That's fantastic. This one's on my foot. I think I have an assistant. I stretched out a deck chair cushion thinking Marley could relax on it, but it's been claimed. Did that cat take your seat? Did that cat take your seat? You ready to go in? Alright, it is Wednesday the 17th, so happy St. Patrick's Day! In a little while, I will be heading to Ann Arbor. I'm going to a book signing of a little certain someone who wrote a book that you may have heard me mention called Serafina. Yep, I'm going to see Rachel Hartman at Nicholas Books in a bit. Very excited about that. I'm um, going to go with my friend Sam, who just got some new baby ratties, so she's going to bring them over. We're going to play before we head out. But going to pause for a minute because the little Merlin Bones is whining. It's a pretty day out, and we're going to go for a walk first. And then I will show you some ratty time and some Rachel Hartman time in a little while. Marley, are we going to go? <laughs> well, let's go! Go! 
<laughs> you gonna stay right beside me? Ooh, ooh, ooh. How? <laughs> <laughs> All right, you mud blood, open it. Aw, yeah. <laughs> Can I get your face? Can I get your excited Tyrannosaurus noise? <laughs> I'll tell the internet. Our neighbors are celebrating St. Patrick's Day. We can hear some strains of Irish music, but it's not picking up. We'll go join them. Go join them for a pint. I don't even like beer. You can do a jig. <laughs> We're gonna be friends, little squirrel. You just don't know it. Oh, she's pissed. Yep, she's mad, bro. Maybe you're not so bad after all. Hi, boys. Alright, this is Sammy and... Finn. Hi, Finn! Let's see if I can close up those whiskers. Oh yeah, look at him go. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> Say hello to the internet. So cute. Who's behind the fairy doors? March 20th, so happy spring, first day of spring, and I kind of disappeared for about a week. Um, I haven't posted hardly anything on the blog, and that is because I've been mostly sleeping when I could. Um, I've been in pain. I for those of you who are unfamiliar, um, I have a recurring back injury. I fell down a flight of stairs when I was a teenager, so every now and then it rears its ugly head, and this week it did in a big way, so... Um, yesterday I didn't move at all if I could avoid it. Still hurting quite a bit today, but I'm determined to do things. So I figured rather than sleep the day away, I'm going to do a watercolor. And I thought I would show you guys the process. So I asked my mom what she would like so that I could get some more practice in. I told her she could commission something if she'd like. And she, of course, said swans, which I should have known. She's been obsessed with them my entire life. So here is how I do the thing. If I'm doing something kind of detailed, I find a reference photo first. So this is from a website called Paint My Photo, where photographers upload pictures that they allow you to use as references in commercial or non-commercial ways. So found some swans I liked. Then I sort of roughly sketched them just to get the basic shapes. So then, just like I showed you in the Phoenix picture, tape it up to my window, tape my watercolor paper on top, and use the window as a light box so that I can get my drawing onto the paper without a lot of pencil marks and eraser marks, which can potentially damage the watercolor. Use cheap washi tape from the dollar because it's not the most sticky thing in the world because it's crappy washi tape, so then it doesn't tear the paper. And the paper I've been using lately is this Canson L watercolor, which I really like. It's 140 pounds, really inexpensive for the quality, good stuff in general. Then I follow along, sketch out my guidelines, and start painting. So my drawing is done, a couple little tweaks, and then I taped it down to my painting board, which is a piece of foam core. Um, I do this so that it will stay flat and also so I can switch between things without worrying about them running or getting damaged or anything like that, and they can 
dry on this until they're ready. I will try to just show you little snippets as I go along. All right, it is the following day, 21st. I forgot to sign off yesterday, um, but didn't end up doing much more after I showed you the first layer of the watercolor. Um, my back was hurting, so I ended up laying down again. It still hurts today, but feels much better, so I'm actually up and <laughs> doing things today, which is yay. Hi, kitty. Come on. You want to cuddle? Come here, my kitty. Hi. Kitty needs a cuddle. She makes an activation noise, and that means I'm ready to be petted. <laughs> she loves her some belly rubs, which I'm a fan of. If you hear little cat noises, that's because she's getting some loves. Anyway. <laughs> she said, no, not anyway. We're still talking about me. See what I mean about the belly rubs? This girl loves her some belly rubs. Gunko Beauty Blender can hold. Alright, it is Friday the 27th, and I want to just go ahead and apologize for disappearing for most of the last half of this month. Hopefully there's enough here to make a watchable vlog. It might end up being the length that I've intended them to be all along, which is much shorter than they normally end up, so I don't know, maybe it's good. But as I said, um, I was in pain for a lot of this month, and every time I would start feeling better, I would then end up feeling worse, and so I spent a lot of this month just in bed. I am feeling better today, on the mend-ish, and actually I'm not even going to jinx it, I'm not even going to say that I'm feeling better, because yeah, I am still in pain, and hopefully, hopefully I'm heading in the right direction, but fingers crossed. But anyway, I just wanted to catch you up on the last few days before I go ahead and end this vlog, because there's not really much else happening this month. As I said, I spent a lot of the last half of this month in bed, which in theory would have meant that I could have gotten a lot of good quality reading time in, but no, a lot of the time I was sleeping or I just couldn't focus. I couldn't stay in one position long enough because it would start hurting, so um, didn't really read too much at all this month, actually. So I did just start reading A Court of Thorns and Roses, and I'm loving it and I'm about halfway through, so that's picking up at least. I also went to see Cinderella the other day, so I'll be talking about that in Fairy Tale Fortnite. I'll go ahead and review it. And tonight, my best friend is coming over and we're going to watch Into the Woods, which I have seen but she hasn't. So it'll be a good refresher so that I can review that as well during Fairy Tale Fortnite. But long story short, Meryl Streep is perfection. But honestly, mostly a pretty boring month just because I couldn't really get out and do things without my back screaming. So that was just pretty much <laughs> my month. No one wants to see that. I'm actually going to go ahead and end the March vlogging here. But before I do, I want to tell you a little story. <laughs> Not so long ago, my sister and I were sitting and playing with our dog, and my sister never curses. Like, she just doesn't. When she's singing Uptown Funk, she won't even say hot damn. She just goes like this, <laughs> and that's my cue to take it. But we were playing with our dog, Marley, who we call Bones a lot of the time, and... I don't remember what she said, but my mom overheard it and thought she called our dog a douche bone, which delighted us so much that we have now taken to saying that all the time. It is now our go-to insult for everything. So this morning, I woke up, and my fluffy kitty, right there, was kind of being a pest all night and just, you know, wanting attention. And I guess she maybe got mad when she didn't get the attention because it was 5 o'clock in the morning and I was asleep. So... This is what I found when I woke up this morning. This is my phone charger. My cat is a douche bone. <sighs> but anyway, that is it for merch. Thank you guys for watching, even if it was a kind of boring one. They probably always are. <laughs> Who am I kidding? But chat with me in the comments about whatever. I look forward to talking with you guys. And the next time I see you, it will be for some fairy tale Fortnite videos. Until then, thanks for watching and have your reading. Look at that fluff. <laughs> <laughs>